Ready for the Betties is the 14th episode of season 1. Candace and Stacy are currently listening to their favorite rock band called the Betties on the radio. Suddenly there's an announcement on the radio that they're giving away free tickets to see the Betties. Candace calls the number and the radio host tells her that she won. Just gotta win! Clearly I'm your biggest fan! See? Even my Betty boombox which rests on my Betty bedside table next to my Betty bed runs on Betty Batteries! Obsession rocks! I know! Oh it's ringing! Congratulations! You're the winning caller! The Betty's tour bus has arrived to pick up Candace and Stacy, and the rest of Candace's family tells them goodbye and to enjoy their music concert. I believe we're about to board the Betty bus! I bet the bus driver's gonna be a spaced out rocker. Hey, hello girls! My name is Dennis and I'm with the radio station. <laughs> that is Sir Holy shit, it's Waddles. Man's mascot. According to our focus groups, girls your age Where's overwhelmingly Mabel? find that cool. <gasps> totally! Now inside the bus, Candace and Stacy open up the curtains and heads to the back. This is where they meet the baddies, who are currently in the middle of writing a new song. The girls tell them that they won a contest and they get to hang out with them all day long. The baddies tell them to keep it down because they're trying to write a new song. We love it! Look, Stacy, It's them! Shh. They're creating between shows. Here comes two chicks. Nobody knows. Oh, we're your biggest fans. Yeah, we, we won a contest and now we get to hang out with you all We'll just keep it down. We're trying to write a song. Of sure course, they're fucking British. <laughs> the Bettys trick the girls into doing chores by telling them they can't write a song unless the tour bus is clean. While this is happening, Phoenix and Ferb are on a secret spy mission after they discover Perry's secret hideout. Dr. Doofenshmirtz, <laughs> what a surprise. Building some sort of destructo ray, end of the world, yada, yada, yada. I'm faxing you the coordinates. Cool. Quick, googly moogly. Carl, Carl, who are those kids? Oh boy, they're Agent P's owners, sir. Looks like they found one of our secret tunnels. Sweet, we got our mission, Agent F, to the hover jet. The girls are still doing chores for the Bettys, and they're currently cleaning the outside of the bus. You know, Stacy, I've been getting to think that the Bettys have just been taking advantage of us this whole time. What are you talking about? They've been nothing but. Look out! Jesus fucking nice Christ. To us as we got Candace has had enough for the bitchy Brits and tells them that she's tired of doing their chores and that they need to treat their fans better. The Betty's apologizes to Candace and tells her this will never happen again. While this is happening, Phineas and Ferb are still on a spy mission and are currently in one of Doofenshmirtz's hideouts. Suddenly, the Destructinator Ray goes off and destroys the bridge that the tour bus is traveling on. By the way, Six, I love that giant five, ray gun counting down to zero. Four, okay, seriously, three, when did you make all this? Look, for the last one, time, I didn't... Phineas and Ferb uses Perry's hovercraft to save their sister and the others, with Perry secretly helping them. Whatever you're doing is working! Ferb, you designed this thing? Can you give me any more power? Excellent! We did it! Our sister's safe! Brilliant! You did it! Let's head home. Way to go, Candice! Now we are your biggest fans! Afterwards, the Bettys ask the girls to join them on stage to sing. While this is happening, Perry is secretly following Phoenix and Ferb back home and uses a tractor beam to take his hovercraft back. And Candace and Stacy gets to perform with the Bettys at their concert, and the episode ends. This episode was banned from rerunning from 2009 to 2015 due to a legal claim by a real life band in New York named the Bettys. Also, the episode of Flying Fishmonger was also banned because it was a partner episode to Ready for the Bettys. Because of the legal action the real Bettys band took, Phineas and Ferb musical clip tested countdown was also pulled due to featuring that episode's song in the number 10 spot however this episode was still available on netflix and was also still airing in other countries this episode is also available on itunes and disney plus alongside its partner episode the flying fishmonger i'm tsunami thanks for watching and shout out to the pig oh my gosh a pig <laughs>